Hi everyone, this is Fagun Shah from Integration Lab and today we are going to see how you can deliver student results uh, using uh, a free chatbot builder called Typebot uh, which gives you like uh, 300 uh, free chats per month okay so if you are running a small tuition classes or something like that you can deliver the student result of a monthly test via typebot okay and uh, yeah it is very easy to use chatbot builder uh, and uh, it currently doesn't support whatsapp but yeah it is very easy to set up why it will give you the url if you purchase the paid plan then it will give you the uh, custom domain as well right so yeah typebot is very easy to use stable chatbot uh, builder so i am going to use that thing uh, as a chatbot then the second part we want to do is whenever someone starts a chatbot flow we want to check their enrollment number in the google sheet where we have entered that result and that result should be shown to the user or student right uh, with their name and grade what grade exactly they achieved in the exam now if they enter the wrong enrollment number by mistake or uh, maybe some other way then it should say that please enter a valid uh, enrollment number right now this workflow was basically wasn't possible uh, like few weeks ago why because Pabli was sending all the data back uh, to the source and that was causing issue in the typebot mappings and now Pabli has introduced a new, new action called uh, return custom data to source okay and that basically solves the issue so let me show you how exactly it works okay so here is a google sheet sample google sheet i have created with the student results and you can see the enrollment numbers are here right now let's pick up any enrollment number like a 21 so i will copy it and this is my bot and it is asking me what is your enrol enrollment number i will paste it and hit send and uh, hi name 21 the result for enrollment number is grade f right now let's refresh this one more time let's add one extra and let's send it so that should basically return that it is an invalid enter a valid enrollment number right and yeah it is shown here so now see the let's see the back end of this particular setup okay uh, first we need to create a bot in the type bot so we have started it by the start then we are asking it what is your enrollment number as a text okay and then we are collecting a particular text variable text input and sa saving it into as a enrollment number variable okay uh, so this is that setup now once we have collected that data we are sending that data to a public connect webhook using action or integration uh, called webhook in the type bot and you can see here i have entered my public connect webhook url here you can get that webhook url from this particular workflow okay now if we go here uh, i am not passing any uh, no i actually i am passing query parameters as a enrollment number so key is enrollment number and value is the variable value which we saved in the above step correct collect enrollment number variable now when do a save we do a save uh, the test request it will basically return us the data so for testing i have choose this number make sure you always choose a number which is already available in here why because you need something to map in the next step as well so if you choose some number which is not available in your google sheet you won't get those variables uh, back and you won't be able to map those okay i mean you can actually do that but that will just uh, make this process complicated so i would recommend use the number which is already available inside your google sheet or lookup value okay now uh, let's do a test request and you can see that it found the data and it returned something like this now this is the json we are getting back correct now you can see the key value pairs data found name name one okay now this data part is going to common uh, going to be common uh, 
even if data is not found or found okay so here if it is found so if the status is found it should go to this step else if status is not found or anything else other than found it should go to another step right that is what we want to do in order to do that first we need to save that data to variable so uh, the data part is saved this part i am saving it to as a status as a variable then name is saved as s underscore name email is saved as s underscore email uh, data dot enrollment number is saved again in the enrollment number data dot grade is saved as a grade okay now uh, i have already explained you the logic of this thing that if status variable value is found then go to this step else go to another step right in the if the data is found if the enrollment number and results are found then it should set up a value like this hi then the name uh, variable part the result for enrollment number is grade and then the grade variable part correct and if not found then this part okay now let's go back to public connect and let's see what we are doing in the public connect so in public connect we are capturing the data uh, as an enrollment number you can see here right and then we are looking up that uh, enrollment number into google sheet we have created okay so in the column c here you can see column c and uh, we can see that it is returning the data right and we have all the data available now we have set up a router and router basically does uh, have two condition one for found and one for not found so if the data is found okay which is the case in this test scenario uh, we have condition set up as a row index exist okay so row index will only be returned in the google sheet lookup uh, row action if the data is found okay so if that exists that means the data is found okay and then we are using action which is, was introduced like one or two weeks ago i think so uh, and thank you uh, neeraj agrawal uh, founder of public connect to introduce that action uh, data forwarded by public return custom response to source okay and now here you can see the json i have created right data found uh, you can just see the key value pairs i am using right data found and so on okay i will just close this let's see the not found uh, router as well so here the condition is row index does not exist obviously if no data is found there won't be any row index right so if the row index doesn't exist then it should enter this router and execute the next actions right so here i am just passing data not found okay nothing else in the json okay this is a standard structure of json if you don't know JS about json you can just search on the youtube and you will learn a lot more uh, you can learn a lot more about json it is easy to use to get started with okay uh, easy to learn to get started with okay uh, yeah so this is how the basically whole flow works uh, let me copy this one more time or just let's just use uh, any other number so yeah uh, 27 one uh, hit enter grade a okay name 27 and grade a if i refresh it one more time so basically it won't found the data so it will ask us to enter a valid enrollment number right like this okay so this is how you use uh, public connect and typebot together to deliver your exam results to your students now this same thing can be implemented in other chatbots as well uh like you chat uh, and other whatever other chatbot you are using the only condition is that your uh, chatbot builder platform should uh, allow the making the post request okay that's it and it should be possible in those platforms as well okay uh, if you are using something with a whatsapp you can use whatsapp as a well i think so you chat can do that okay so yeah try it let me know if it works or not and make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel uh, to support me and to create more and more uh, free videos like this okay so see you in the next video thank you bye bye